Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna do a video about the exercise app and fitness tracking on Fitbit Versa. It is gonna be a little bit long video but stay tuned at the end of this video you'll pretty much know everything you need to know about the exercise and fitness tracking on your Fitbit Versa. So without further ado, let's get started. If you guys are new to our channel, please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Doing so really motivates us to put more content on our video and that's the best support you can provide to our channel. So please make sure you subscribe to our channel. And if you guys are here because of Fitbit Versa, please make sure you check out our Fitbit Versa playlist. When you click here, you'll be taken to our Fitbit Versa playlist where we have 35 plus videos and more to come and I am pretty sure you will learn a lot about Fitbit Versa. So that being said, I'm gonna switch the camera from my computer to my uh, phone and I'll see you there. Guys, here I am on my watch. Um, I will actually start from my watch. There are two apps and once I'm done with that, I'll actually go on to the Fitbit app of the Android device and then I'll talk a couple of options over there. So let's start with the apps on the watch. Uh, the first app I want to talk about is the Coach. Uh, I personally don't use the Coach. I usually use Exercise, but let's start with the Coach. So when I hit the Coach, there are preset workouts, the 10 minute app, 7 minute workout and the treasure chest. Uh, 10 minutes 7 minutes and 15 minutes so let's take this one for example you can actually see all the exercise in it by uh, hitting this button on the top right and it shows all the exercise which you'll be performing it includes a lot of exercise for starting from your arm back and then all the way to the cardio uh, so what this app pretty much does is when you play this it shows the exercise which you will be doing for about Two or three seconds uh, once you get an idea of the exercise it actually starts the timer for 30 seconds you do the exercise it shows all the uh, statistics while you're doing the exercise and then you jump on to the next exercise so let's say for example let's start this one so the first one is jumping jack so it's gonna be displayed for about three seconds over here and once the time is up the uh, the the tracking will be started so you have to do this exercise for 30 seconds it shows your uh, heart rate right here you can actually pause the exercise jump on to a next exercise like this one so the next one is wall squat hold uh, the picture will be demonstrated for a couple of seconds and then the exercise will start actually so there you go for 30 seconds uh, you can even pause the exercise and end the exercise right here or you can resume the exercise so I'm gonna end the exercise or the workout right here once you hit yes then it quickly gives you a summary of your workout where it gonna it's gonna show you the time the calorie burnt and your heart rate max and stuff like that so you're gonna hit then I rarely use this because I like to have my own personal workout regime so uh, the next app is the exercise app which I use the most so in here there are preset workouts like weight, run, uh, workout, interval timer, uh, bike, uh, swim and treadmill. I haven't used and tried swim yet uh, but I have tried treadmill I use this most of the time this is my regular cardio uh, since it's in winter I can't I, I don't prefer to go outdoor for running so I use my treadmill to run indoor so when I go here I hit play and uh, it starts uh, tracking my heart rate the calorie burn and the time uh, there is there there aren't a lot of variables right here uh, you can actually get more variables in the run uh, run run feature which I'm gonna talk about later so I'm gonna hit pause over here and then end it uh, we'll end the exercise and then it's gonna show us the summary uh, you hit done and then you'll be taken out you go back to the exercise if you switch to a different exercise uh, if you're doing bike biking outdoor then you use this this option again uh, the statistics may be different uh, because in bike you won't get uh, laps and stuff like uh, pace and stuff like that uh, 
you have this setting right here the show labs uh, it's on or you can either enter manually or automatically i would rather keep it ma uh, automatically then you can customize the stats uh, the top middle and the bottom uh, i usually uh, like to have distance on top and uh, time elves in the uh, elves time in the bottom in the middle i usually prefer the heart rate but i i can kind of swipe and change it too to have different uh, outlook and then connected gps is always on especially for running auto pause is off if you turn it on then if 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 for some reason you slow down it's gonna pause the workout by itself which is sometimes annoying because i had this on especially for treadmill and if i slow down or if i get a notification or something it pauses the workout by itself so i had to eventually turn it off uh, because i personally don't stop while i'm doing exercise until unless i really have to then always on uh, this is something new since the new uh, update uh, which reduces the battery life so i have kept it off but if you are someone who likes their screen to be on all the time while they are working out then this is a good option you hit it on and your screen will be on for all the time so this is the bike app uh, the interval timer i rarely use this workout i only use this if i know that i'm doing a particular type of workout um, again it, it, it doesn't show you what sort of workout you're doing uh, but it's only when you know you're doing a particular workout then you can time your workout with this with particular statistics as well I usually use run now if you're running indoor on a treadmill then don't use run rather use treadmill because if you do this then your GPS will get activated and uh, you can see it's connecting to the G uh, phone's GPS right now so what will happen is it's gonna show you a, a dot right it's not moving anywhere because you're on treadmill so I don't usually use this uh, but this is so it's now connected to my watch uh, my phone's GPS now once you start it can actually track where you are running but make sure you keep your phone with you because this does not have a GPS tracker built in so you have to keep your watch with you uh, so it shows pace uh, um, kilometers and stuff like that it, it paused by itself because I'm not running it detected that I'm not running at all so I'm gonna uh, end this workout right here uh, and then the last one is the weights which I use the most um, uh, just a heads up guys it does not detect the type of exercise you're doing like for example bench press or pull up it just detects the exercise so what happens is when you're doing a high intensity exercise like pull ups or push ups or burpees or something like that your heart rate is gonna boost up and when you're in the peak zone where your heart rate is more than like 150 or stuff then you you'll actually burn more calories uh, in less amount of time and if you are taking too much of rest your heart rate will stay low you'll burn less calorie in more time uh, so that's how it works you can even change the time and then em the calorie burned and heart rate that's that's about it um, I usually like to prefer, uh, keep the heart rate there because that kind of keeps me, it gives me a biofeedback that I'm too uh, at peak uh, of, of my heart rate so I just have to cut down and stuff like that. So that's it about the um, exercise app on the Fitbit Versa. So these are the two apps only. Now I'm going to switch the camera over to my phone and on the phone we'll, uh, we'll go on to the Fitbit app. Sorry about the glare, uh, I can actually, alright so there is no more glare, sorry about that, it was the light which was turned on. Now uh, over here I really want to talk about uh, these two things, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the heart rate and the exercise uh, which says gold mat but I actually didn't, we'll go over here. Uh, so. Today I did a lot of uh, demonstration on my watch that's why I picked up all this workout which I didn't do. You can see this run which I didn't do. It, it's just in, indoor only so it's it says zero kilometers because I didn't really run. But really what I wanted to talk over here is it gives you the summary of your exercises you did. Um, these are all the days of the month which I did the workout. Uh, I was fairly consistent uh, this week uh, as you can see I did workout on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Monday 
it also shows uh, the duration I did the workout for so the maximum was uh, in the last two days where it was more than 50 minutes um, and then it shows the distance I actually didn't run outdoors so the distance is fairly close to zero because I did treadmill as I said earlier and this is the important part uh, which is the heart rate heart rate zone I actually went to peak of my heart rate as you can see the red right here for three days and those are the days when I did treadmill and then cardio and fat burn was uh, are those days when I did my weight workout uh, so it gives you a, a, a good summary of what you did throughout the week uh, and this is the calorie burned uh, the most calorie burned was uh, 480 on uh, the beginning of the week so the, these are all the quick glance or statistics of the exercise you did and when you scroll down you can actually see what type of exercise you did at what time the calorie burnt and your average uh, heart rate during the exercise so these are all just where the demonstration but this is real where I did weights and you can see uh, the time um, the the heart rate was 129 it was 52 percent cardio the rest was fat burn uh, over here it shows me the speed as well so 5.3 km per hour that was the average speed that's when I was on treadmill and um, the heart rate and the kilometer or the distance I went through and 65% of the time I was at the peak of my heart rate so when I click here it's it's actually gonna show me that 13 minute I actually stayed on the peak of my heart rate uh, 6 minute was cardio and 1 minute was fat uh, and it shows the uh, a little bit of graph as well so my peak was 193 that's a bit surprising because I didn't really feel that I was doing the exercise at 193 because at 193 I pretty much have to stop I didn't feel like that so I would say uh, the heart rate tracking is not like 100% accurate unlike those uh, chest strap fitness trackers those are highly accurate but these uh, it, it gives you a basic idea of what you are doing but it's not I would say it's not 100% accurate because there were times when I went to 199 and that's that's too much but I still was able to do it so um, that's about this um, one other thing I wanted to talk is uh, the watch can automatically detect short walks. So I went on for a walk for 15 minutes. Uh, I burned 98 calories. I didn't turn on uh, the exercise app, but the watch automatically detected that walk and even logged it on my phone right here. So, uh, uh, so this is the statistics for that short walk I did. Uh, the other thing is the sports. Um, certain activities uh, the watch picks up by itself and puts it under the category of uh, sports like for example I did snow shoveling uh, the other day and it, it took a, uh, took it as sports uh, and it, it actually logged my heart rate and all the biometrics uh, for the snow shoveling and logged it as a sport sometimes I do play um, badminton uh, in my backyard and it considered it as sport and logs in the data but it does not really detect the type of activity you are doing I guess it's not that smart enough it doesn't know that I was playing badminton versus snow shoveling it just knows that I was doing something and that's that's pretty good too it, it tracks by itself and logs things up uh, I have uh, I'm trying to go through uh, the data uh, to find a run um, I'm sorry I'm not able to find this this is this is not actually a run this is a treadmill but if you were actually to go out for a run it actually tracks the run on Google Maps and shows you right here so when you click you can actually get the map of the running you did I haven't uh, ran outdoor for quite a while because it's winter right here um, and I don't prefer to go out in winter but if you were to run in summer here's where you'll find your uh, track record now you can actually time your workout uh, or track your workout from here as well um, it also shows the GPS signal and you can select run jog walk and stuff like that uh, just so you know the tracker does detect run jog uh, and walk so it actually knows the difference between all those 
and when you go in the setting uh, you have all your goals where you can set and differentiate the goals I have never used swimming um, but all of, all of these uh, are the thing which the Fitbit tracker can detect by itself so that's about this exercise app uh, on the Fitbit app uh, this is again Android device uh, for iOS users things may be different you can leave me a comment down below and then the last thing I wanted to talk is the heart rate when you click here it gives you a brief idea of your heart rate so at night time uh, my resting heart rate was about 58 and now it has been up um, that's again for last 30 days this is what I usually uh, have a glance quite often which is the cardio fitness and that's good it actually shows that I'm in a good to very good state uh, it, it checks the score based on your heart rate and the amount of activity you do and then gives you a, 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 a score of your overall health um, you can even take a screenshot of this if you want to share it, it even shows that the excellent is 55 plus where you're kind of doing cardio uh, regularly if you want to learn more you can hit learn more and they have their own blog where they give a brief idea about how they measure and stuff like that I'm not gonna go in detail about that uh, and then the last thing is the uh, heart rate zone uh, which you can see in the exercise uh, tab as well uh, but the another thing is over here when you scroll down it gives you a brief idea of your heart rate uh, throughout the day uh, for some instance if the watch is not in close contact to your wrist or not tied properly or you took it off for charging or whatever it's not gonna show your heart rate just as over here uh, there was a little bit of peak as well over here um, and that's when I did the exercise right after uh, charging my watch um, and then uh, it just shows all the days uh, and your heart rate um, it, it's mostly like during the day the heart rate goes up because that's when we do certain activities and whenever I do exercise um, I can see those higher spikes and that's when I actually did the exercise uh, it, it, it must be either cardio or uh, weight so that's that's about it I I'm pretty sure I did everything if I missed something you can let me know in comments down below uh, and you can also let me know your experience with this particular tracking uh, I really hope you like this video uh, please give this video a thumbs up share this video as much as you can and please make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any upcoming videos out from our channel and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video till then take care